gear up for a storytime adventure. Join us as we break down the characters, themes, and motivations of this timeless classic, King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. Get ready to explore the myth and literature with us as we dive into King Arthur's world. King Arthur is a legendary figure whose story has been told and retold for centuries. From the tales of Merlin to the adventures of Sir Lancelot, King Arthur's world has captivated readers around the world and across time and culture. Today we're taking an in-depth look into one classic telling, King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table by Thomas Mallory. In this book analysis report, we'll explore the themes, symbolism, and legacy that, as they relate to our beloved King Arthur. So buckle up for some exciting insights into this timeless tale. First, we're going to start off with an overview of King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. The historical context. King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table is a legendary tale passed down through the generations, originating in medieval England during the 12th century. It is believed to be based on a real king who lived in Britain during this period, though much of the story has been romanticized over time. The legend tells of King Arthur's rise to power as he assembles a group of elite knights known as the Knights of the Round Table. Together they embark on many adventures, quests for justice, honor, and glory. Then we have the characters. At his core, King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table is about loyalty and friendship between a group of brave warriors led by their noble king, King Arthur himself. Other important characters include Merlin, an old wizard with magical powers, Guinevere, queen consort to King Arthur, Lancelot, one of the most famous knights, Gawain, another loyal knight, Mordred, Arthur's illegitimate son who leads a rebellion against him, Morgan Le Fay, Arthur's half-sister who uses her magic against him. Galahad, the purest knight among them all. Percival, the youngest knight at only 15 years old when he joined them. Kay, King Arthur's foster brother and seneschal, basically his personal assistant. Sir Bedivere, one of the two surviving knights after Camelot falls apart due to Mordred's treachery. And Nimue slash Vivian slash Lady of Lake, the mysterious woman responsible for giving Excalibur to King Arthur. They go on various adventures throughout their journey while facing off against enemies like Morgan Le Fay or Mordred, ultimately leading up to the climax where they must battle each other in order to save the kingdom itself. The story of King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table is a timeless tale that has captivated audiences for centuries. Moving on to the themes of King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table, we'll explore some of the deeper meanings. The first key takeaway to all of this is King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table is a legendary tale that highlights loyalty, friendship, and courage. The story follows the King Arthur as he assembles his elite group of knights, including Merlin, Guinevere, Lancelot, Gawain, and others who embark on many adventures. They face off against enemies like Morgan Le Fay, or Mordred in order to save the kingdom itself. Ultimately, the classic tale shows how courage can overcome any obstacle when working together for a common cause. Now we'll get into the themes in King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. Loyalty and honor are two of the most critical themes in King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. The knights pledge their loyalty to King Arthur, vowing to serve him faithfully no matter what challenges they face. They also strive to uphold a code of honor, which includes courage, justice, respect for others, selflessness, and chivalry. This code is exemplified by Sir Lancelot's willingness to risk his life for Queen Guinevere when she is threatened by Mordred's forces. Then we have love and friendship. Love and friendship is also a key theme in this classic tale. Many of the characters display deep affection for one another throughout the story. Some even sacrifice themselves out of love or friendship for another character. For example, Gawain gives up his own life so that his friend Gareth can be saved from a certain death at the hands of the enemy knight. In addition, many friendships between the knights are formed during their adventures together as they fight against evil forces such as Morgan Le Fay 
or Mordred's army. Throughout their quest to restore peace in Camelot, after Morgan Le Fay takes control over it with her dark magic powers, Arthur's knights must battle against powerful enemies who represent evil forces while upholding principles like justice and truthfulness that symbolize good deeds. This theme of good versus evil serves as a moral compass guiding the characters through difficult decisions or challenging situations they may encounter upon their journeys. The themes of loyalty and honor and love and friendship and good versus evil are essential to understanding the story of King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. These same themes are also found in many symbols throughout the story, which will be discussed next. This key takeaway is King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table is a classic tale about loyalty, honor, love, friendship, and good versus evil. The knights uphold a code of courage, justice, respect for others, and chivalry while fighting against powerful enemies representing evil forces. These themes serve as a moral compass, guiding the characters through difficult decisions or challenging situations that they may face in, on their quest to restore peace within Camelot. Now we're going to get into the symbolism in King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. The sword in the stone is a powerful symbol of destiny and kingship. It represents the idea that only one person can be chosen to rule, as King Arthur himself was the only one who could pull it from the stone. This symbolizes his divine right to rule and serves as a reminder of his power over all others. The round table is another important symbol in the story, representing unity among the knights who sit around it. It also stands for equality among them, showing that no knight was more important than any other when they were seated at that table together. And finally, Excalibur is an iconic weapon associated with King Arthur and signifies strength and courage in battle. Its magical powers symbolize Arthur's ability to overcome obstacles and achieve greatness through hard work and determination. All three symbols have become deeply ingrained in popular culture due to their importance within this classic tale, making them timeless reminders of what it means to be a leader or hero today. Symbolism in King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table is a significant part of its legacy, as it has inspired many adaptations over time. In the following, we will discuss how the legacy has impacted modern society. Now we're going to talk about the legacy of King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. The legacy has been immortalized in literature, film, and television adaptations. The story of a valiant king who leads his knights on an epic quest to protect Camelot from evil forces has captivated audiences for centuries. Popularity in literature, film, and television adaptations from its earliest beginnings as a medieval legend to modern-day adaptations like Disney's The Sword in the Stone or BBC's Merlin series, this timeless tale continues to be told through different mediums. In addition to being adapted to movies and TV shows as it appears in books like T.H. White's The Once and Future King or Marion Zimmer Bradley's Mists of Avalon. The cultural impact on modern society of this book is the legendary tale is famous because it resonates with people today. It speaks about courage and loyalty while emphasizing themes such as justice over revenge, which are still relevant today. Furthermore, many characters have become iconic symbols of strength. Example, Lancelot or Wisdom, Merlin. These archetypes can be seen everywhere from comic books to video games, where they often serve as role models for young people looking for inspiration or guidance during difficult times. Other authors have drawn upon the elements of this classic story when creating their own works of fiction, such as J.R.R. Tolkien's Lord of the Rings trilogy and Leonard and Lowe's Camelot. By reinterpreting these familiar characters and settings in new ways, Writers keep the spirit alive by paying homage to this beloved legend while introducing fresh perspectives. The key takeaway from this is, King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table have been adapted into numerous books, films, and television shows. 
These works have become iconic symbols of strength, wisdom, courage, and loyalty, and they resonate with people today due to their relevance in modern society. Authors such as J.R.R. Tolkien and Leonard and Lowe have drawn upon elements from this classic story when creating their own works of fiction, which keeps the spirit alive by introducing fresh perspectives. And now we're going to get into some frequently asked questions about King Arthur. First one is, why is King Arthur so famous? He is best known for his role as a central character of the Arthurian legend, which tells of his quest to establish justice and peace throughout Britain. His famous sword, Excalibur, symbolizes strength and courage, while his court at Camelot stands for chivalry and honor. King Arthur's legacy continues to live on today throughout various retellings of the classic tales that have inspired generations over the centuries. He is a symbol of justice, courage, and loyalty that continues to inspire people today. Another question that is constantly asked is, who killed the King Arthur? The answer to the question of who killed King Arthur is unknown. Many theories exist, but none have been proven conclusively. Some suggest that Mordred, a knight of the round table, and Arthur's illegitimate son was responsible for his death. Others believe it was by an assassin hired by Morgan Le Fay, a powerful enchantress, and Arthur's half-sister. Still others point to Lancelot du Lac as the killer due to his betrayal of Arthur in his pursuit of Guinevere, or even Sir Gawain, as he had previously challenged Arthur's authority. Ultimately, there is no definitive answer as to who killed King Arthur. Another question that is asked quite often is, is King Arthur related to Queen Elizabeth? And the answer is no. King Arthur and Queen Elizabeth are not related. While both figures have a long history in British folklore, they do not share familial ties. King Arthur is believed to be an amalgamation of several historical and mythical figures from the 5th and 6th centuries. While Queen Elizabeth I was born in 1953 CE. Furthermore, no evidence suggests that King Arthur existed outside of legend or literature. And another question is, is King Arthur and the Camelot true story? No, King Arthur and Camelot are not true stories. While there is evidence of a historical figure who may have been the basis up for the legend of King Arthur, there is no definitive proof that he existed or that Camelot was an actual place. Furthermore, many aspects of stories surrounding King Arthur and Camelot were likely added over time as they became popularized in literature and other forms of media. And finally, in conclusion, King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table is a timeless classic that has inspired readers for centuries. It provides an exciting story with important themes such as courage, loyalty, and justice. This book's symbolism helps convey these messages in a powerful way. The legacy of King Arthur and his knights will continue to live on through literature, art, music, film, and more. We can learn from their example by striving to be brave and just like them. Thank you for joining us on our journey into the world of King Arthur. Let's join forces to explore the legendary King Arthur and its many interpretations. By examining the various sources, we can better understand this timeless story and how it has been told throughout history. Together, let us uncover the new insights into what makes this epic so powerful, from themes to characters, to develop innovative solutions that will help keep King Arthur alive for generations to come. Thank you for coming by, and I hope you enjoyed this analysis of King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please do leave them down in the comments, as I always love hearing from you all. And as always, if you like this, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video around so YouTube gets the chance to love this video as much as you guys. Take care, have a great day, and bye-bye.